Hello, and welcome to the compliance training video on the City of San Luis Obispo's Clean Energy Program for New Buildings, also known as the Local All-Electric Buildings Municipal Code. If you have an upcoming new construction project in San Luis Obispo, or if you're curious about the city's environmental protection and climate action efforts, you're in the right place. As you go through the training, please note down any questions so that we can help you through the process. Thanks. To start off, let's first take a look at some of the climate action initiatives the city has taken so far. In August 2020, City Council approved the Climate Action Plan for Community Recovery and adopted a resolution which includes the goal of community-wide carbon neutrality by 2035. The resolution also included a building sector goal of zero operational greenhouse gas emissions from new buildings by 2020. In addition to setting emissions reduction goals, the CAP also focuses on using resources more effectively, improving community equity and well-being, and developing a resilient economy. To support some of these goals, the city adopted its first local energy reach code in 2020 also known as the Clean Energy Choice Program for New Buildings. Furthermore, in 2018, the city was accepted to the Local Community Choice Aggregation Program, also known as a CCA. Since January 2020, Central Coast Community Energy has provided city residents and businesses with clean, renewable, and carbon-free energy. To prepare for the upcoming 2022 Building Code Cycle, City staff worked with several community partners to develop the update to the local REACH Code Ordinance. This included targeted outreach to developers and the local building community responsible for designing and constructing new buildings. Through a series of email campaigns, individual meetings with developers, targeted presentations to industry stakeholder groups, community webinars, and surveys, Staff received feedback on proposed changes to the current REACH Code Ordinance. Based on this outreach, as well as statewide trends related to the local adoption of building electrification ordinances, upcoming changes to the California Energy Code that focus on heat pump technology, electric readiness, expanded solar PV and battery storage standards, statewide emissions reduction and carbon neutrality goals, and the emerging body of literature documenting the public health and safety risks associated with natural gas infrastructure, Council adopted an all-electric municipal code amendment in July 2022 called the Clean Energy Program for New Buildings. The updated ordinance goes into effect with the 2022 building code cycle on January 1st, 2023. The Clean Energy Program for New Buildings is a type of REACH Code. A REACH Code ordinance is local legislation that includes amendments or additions to a base code. It effectively reaches beyond the requirements set forth by the state. REACH Codes are typically based on local prototypes built within California Energy Commission or CEC-approved energy modeling software and are based on cost-effectiveness studies that outline energy modeling assumptions. The new requirements are effective January 1st, 2023, and requires all new buildings, including residential, ADUs, and non-residential construction, to be all electric. This means that the new building has no natural gas plumbing installed within the building or in on-site systems related to the new building. There are limited technical and public interest exemptions that we will go over in upcoming slides. The all-electric requirement does not apply to additions or alterations. The city closely evaluated existing cost-effectiveness studies and initial findings related to future cost-effectiveness studies to confirm that all-electric buildings are cheaper to build than mixed-fuel buildings. As mentioned in the previous slide, the Clean Energy Program for new buildings requires all newly constructed buildings to be designed and constructed as all electric. There are no additional enhanced efficiency standards required. A project would still need to demonstrate compliance with the California Energy Code. If a project is eligible for a technical or public interest exemption, 
project applicants must receive approval from the Community Development Director concurrent with the building permit application. We'll take a look at the potential exemptions and the process for requesting an exemption in the next slides. The Clean Energy Program for new buildings provides exemptions for natural gas infrastructure for certain end uses when no all-electric alternative is commercially available or viable. Exemptions include the following. Backup power for critical infrastructure necessary to protect public health and safety in the event of an electric grid outage, and process loads in a newly constructed manufacturing and industrial facility. There are also technical exemptions that are only allowed through December 1st, 2025. These include commercial kitchen equipment in a newly constructed eating and drinking establishment, water heating and space heating in an attached accessory dwelling unit, where equipment in the existing building is serving the attached ADU, and a swimming pool that is provided as a public amenity. Lastly, the ordinance also includes a public interest exemption that would allow limited natural gas infrastructure in certain new buildings. If the Community Development Director makes findings related to site feasibility, the project's alignment with the city's adopted sustainability and environmental policies, and the project's commitment to public health and safety. The city has developed an exemption application process for applicants seeking any of the listed exemptions on this slide. This slide highlights a typical submittals timeline for projects subject to the Clean Energy Program for new buildings. For projects subject to planning, it is recommended to include the preliminary energy modeling results. This is included in the form of an energy modeling report. If a planning application is required, the applicant must include the completed Clean Energy Program Planning Acknowledgement Statement on the index or title sheet at the beginning of the plan set. For building permit, projects shall submit the final energy modeling report in the permit plans. Projects will also need to include the completed Clean Energy Program Building Permit Certificate of Compliance with the energy compliance documentation in the permit plan set. In addition, the project team should also include a blank copy of the final inspection certificate of compliance, which will be completed during the inspection process. If a project is requesting a technical or public interest exemption, the project team must follow the Clean Energy Program exemption guidelines and submit an application for approval by the Community Development Director. The submittal must include a description of how the purpose and intent of the Clean Energy Program was addressed to the maximum extent feasible. The Director's decision shall become a condition of the development or building permit issued for the project. During inspection, REACH Code compliance is subject to typical Energy Code submittal requirements. Requirements. If redesign occurs on the project, the project team must resubmit the energy compliance model for review and it must still show compliance with state and local standards. The project team will need to also provide a completed clean energy program building final inspection certificate of compliance. This can be done by signing the certificate in the field with the city building inspector during the building final inspection. It's important to note that you'll be submitting state energy documentation as well as the local clean energy program for new buildings submittal documentation for compliance. This is an example of a scoping form for verifying REACH code compliance. It's a tool that you can use to determine the compliance expectations of your project based on its scope of work. It also lists the available exemptions and process for submitting the application. To download this form, head to the Clean Energy Program for New Buildings Compliance webpage. The City has set up technical support for the community to help with compliance with the Clean Energy Program for New Buildings. Applicants can visit slow.greencarpetservice.com to connect with on-call technical experts on the local REACH code. The virtual help desk offers support through multiple channels, including email, chat, and ticket inquiries. The help desk offers solutions to REACH code challenges, and the agents are committed to helping you solve any compliance challenges or questions related to your project during the permit and inspection process. To live chat with a virtual help desk service agent, schedule an appointment, or submit a ticket, visit slow.greencarpetservice.com. Applicants may also submit a ticket directly by email 
to slow at greencarpetservice.com. This slide highlights a list of state and local resources available to you and your project team. Thanks for joining the compliance training for the City of San Luis Obispo's Clean Energy Program for New Buildings. If you noted any questions during this training or have any as you go through the building permit or inspection process, please feel free to send them our way. You can live chat or submit a ticket by visiting slow.greencarpetservice.com. You may also send emails to slow at greencarpetservice.com. For general compliance information, visit www.slowcity.org slash clean energy program.